Apple back for me there. Congratulations on your race. Uh, you look very passionate about this race, uh, about this uh, victory. Tell me about it. First thing, just want to say, give thanks to God for life, for health and strength and everything. This season was hectic for me. I was out for three months with an injury. For this meet, this is no exaggerating. I did two and a, two and two days, 14 days, 16 days training for this meet. And it came out successful just outside my purse, no best. And I just want to give God thanks for this victory. It means a lot to me. And it really shone the naysayers about my career. Because a lot of being, a lot of rumors being going around that my career is finished. My time is over. But God is in control and he knows when it's my time to give up. Okay, come into this race, uh, who would have been your biggest track? Well, Kwesi Moria would have. Uh, Claim Mike Kong, which is the National 800 meter senior champ, championship crown. And I was looking at him and he came out very fast, but I wasn't worried about that because I know he cannot sustain that after 400. So I just held my composure and I waited for the perfect moment to make my move. Uh, what, do you, what do you think of the support that you got? Well, my, my uncle is here. First time he came here to see, to see I run and my daughter is in the stand too. So I'm just excited. I did not disappoint the fans. What's next for you? Well, I was hoping that I would have made the Olympic qualifying, but I, I figured the time is almost up on me. So I just got to look forward to next year and trying to make the World Championship guy in the squad. Thank you. Thank you.